Will there and welcome to Beauty Busters, where we test out internet beauty hacks to see if they're a poop, a whoop, or a maybe baby, meaning they may work for some people and they might not work for other people. Today, today we are going to be testing out hair tattoos for the hair. I saw that a picture of Kylie Jenner on Pinterest on like this really awesome hair tattoo, which I think is a really cool little trend. I feel like it would look really cool if it actually worked on the hair. I know what you're thinking, Natalie, what happened to your brown eyes? I'm currently testing out these contacts. This will be on my Test It Out series if you're interested. I apologize if my my lash is about to fall off or my color foundation isn't matching me properly. I'm only human, people, and today I was just like being lazy and then I got spur in the moment, thought I'd put on some makeup, and then I was like, oh, why not film something? Like, let me be productive because honestly, I haven't been productive at all. Thumbs up if you haven't been productive at all either. So anyway, we're gonna be testing out these really beautiful hair tattoos that I actually got off of eBay for like a dollar. And you know, just see if we can accessorize our hair. There are actually two methods to do this. One is with a cotton ball and just damp it up with water. And then the other one is with a hot tool. So we'll test out both and see if they're a whoop or a poop. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a whoop. It doesn't seem that difficult, but it would be really cool if it does work. Work. So let's get on into it. So I will be cutting out one of these. I'm gonna cut out, this one looks pretty cool. This one looks like the, the one that she was wearing and I think it'll, it'll show up in my head. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel it off. You can have curly hair, you can have straight hair. I don't know how it would really apply on curly hair. I feel like it would get in the way, but maybe if you do have straight hair or wavy, I feel like it would be a lot easier to apply. So I just took off the strip and I'm just gonna lay it on wherever I want to apply it. So right here. Oh, well it just kind of stuck on there. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a little cotton ball. I'm gonna do this one first. This just feels weird. It already feels like a poop, but we'll see. And I'm just gonna dampen up the hair. Now they say that it shouldn't really mess up your hairstyle because you're just damping it up. You're not really getting it wet. I feel like I'm gonna need more than that. Doesn't seem very promising. All right, what do you guys think? I'm just gonna dampen it up a little bit more. I actually am feeling this water on my forehead, so that might ruin your hairstyle. I feel like once you actually start to see it here, it's because it's working. So I'm just gonna go for it. Nope, it's still on there. Okay, I'm gonna add more water. What about now? Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Hmm, it doesn't look as cool as it looked on her. I don't know. My hair looks kind of, feels plasticky. Well, duh. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I feel like this would photograph a lot better than it actually looks in person, because honestly, it feels pretty uncomfortable. Maybe if I had my hair like, like she had it, which was more like organized. What do you guys think? Like that? <laughs> ah, everything's getting stuck to it. Okay, it just broke apart. That's all right, that's all right. I'm gonna actually try with an iron. I feel like this might work a little bit better with that, so trial two. So I'm trying to show you guys how like it just looks semi-plasticky. I feel like if it was just all gold or black, it would look a lot better, but because it does have like that space in between it, it don't look that nice. What do you guys think? I put my strainer on for 370. I don't know, I feel like the hotter the better. Ow, that's hot. Okay, I'm gonna cut out a smaller one to see how that turns out. Now, if you notice with these tattoos, you will notice that there is that like white space between them that's supposed to like attach to your skin. So that is showing through, like all these little like shiny blotchy areas. It's gonna show through due to the tattoo. So I feel like unless you wanna really purchase hair tattoos specifically for that, I don't know if they still appear like this because this is just like a random tattoo. This is like one of these skin tattoos. So maybe that's why that happened. I'm going to straighten that area first. Then I'm gonna peel off the little sheet. Bam. And I'm just going to press the tattoo on there. I really hope this doesn't burn my hair off. I'm gonna put this down a little bit because it's pretty hot. I put it down to 330. Oh, what? Okay, let me try again. You guys saw that? It looked like it was melting off. That was strange. You guys have ever seen that girl that burned her hair off? I don't want to be that next girl on, on the internet. Okay. Yeah, so the final result of that was a poop on this side. Obviously, it worked a lot better with the water. But like I said, it gives that plasticky look. Okay, so if you guys plan on doing this, typical tattoos like for your body can be a little bit harder to work with just because they have that whitish 
area around them like I was showing you right here. Not sure if your typical hair tattoos also has that. With water, it works a lot better as you can see as opposed to iron. With the iron, first you get that horrible indent line and then not only that, but your hair actually gets like sticky and it has the product on your hair and it doesn't even transfer. But you can take this out with obviously shampooing your hair or with an oil-based product. Overall, I think this is a maybe baby. I feel like if you enjoy it like this, then you know it did work. I recommend that if you're gonna put the hair tattoo on with water, then you should probably have your hair like in some kind of like pinned form so that it can just be really nice, kind of like that, so. So yeah, that was it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you would like me to test out. We're testing out beauty hacks and also DIY. So let me know what you would like me to test, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi Natalie, my name is Trinity Knight, and I would love to be Audi of the Week because I'm so inspired by you and I love your videos. My Instagram name is Trinity underscore Knight 03, so don't forget to follow me.